So Greg Matthews now, born in Newcastle, 31 years of age. He's up the strike. Oh, it's a good shot. Into the gap, and that brings up the 300 for Australia. Matthews is not wasting any time. It was over pitched that he went thrashing at it. Didn't quite middle it, but uh, he certainly got enough bat on it to get it down to the boundary at extra cover. Yep. Oh, and that's another bad ball by Eddie Hemmings, cut away by Greg Matthews. Those short balls I talked about, they haunting Eddie Hemmings yesterday and today. You just cannot ball short on a slow turning pitch. You can over pitch, let the batsman drive you, the captain can set fields for it. Look at the short. You can place that ball anywhere you want. Philip Tufnell to Greg Matthews, and Matthews is starting the way he finished off in that pre lunch session. No mucking around there, down the track and smashed it to the sight screen. It's 50 for Greg Matthews, well played. Yes, that is well played. And the crowd responded really well to him. And the English people as well as Australians stood up there applauding that. He's a gutsy fighter. As they say in Scotland, they like a bonny fighter, he's that sort of gutsy cricketer. People know he's perhaps not going to be one of the great cricketers in world cricket, but my goodness, he makes the best of what ability he's got. And people like to see players who've got good ability, but lots of character. And that's going to be put away for four. Far too short, that brings up the 400 for six. Very good effort by the Australian batsman. Well, this is a cracking shot from uh, Greg Matthews. Ball just short of a length, a little bit of width. Not such a bad ball, but not a good ball. And the batsman's in, you see it's outside on stone, slow pace, gets back, and it's a really good cracking shot. Bad ball, good shot. Magnificent shot, dreadful delivery, into the fence it goes, that takes him to 89. It's not only the spinners that are bowling too short, Gladstone Small really hasn't moved the ball around in the air, certainly not off the pitch. And when you're just bowling at that pace, in fact it's an awkward pace because it's just coming onto the bat nicely. Well, he's got it away and that'll be his hundred. It's going down towards the square leg boundary. Greg Matthews has scored his first hundred at the Sydney Cricket Ground, his fourth test century, and also his first against England. Acknowledging the applause of a standing crowd. He has played absolutely superbly. A very aggressive innings. In a moment, he will never forget. Sit that nicely. He also did that to the finger spinners as well. He uses his feet well to the spinners, Greg Matthews. Gets down the pitch, hitting with the spin, which is most important. The ball spinning from off to leg with the leg spinner. And he's timed that beautifully. He sweeps, he sweeps fine. He races away for four. Did he get some bat on that? Yes, he did. Greg Matthews, the star at the Sydney Cricket Ground. He's going on and on. His fourth Test 100. Beautifully played. Gave himself some room. And that's four more.
that is gone straight down the throat of Eddie Hemmings out at long on Hemmings judged it nicely and Philip Tufnell takes his first test match win. Matthews out after an excellent innings played really well Yeah, it's fine performance by Greg Matthews. England spinners at times haven't bowled very well at him, but that takes nothing away from his innings. He's really fought hard. He's savouring the moment, and deservedly so, because he's been in and out of the Australian side. Look at him looking around at the crowd. He's enjoying the moment, and that's what we all play test cricket for, to enjoy the good moments, because always around the corners, one or two of the others, deserves every bit of applause. Standing ovation, thoroughly deserved. 